Can you meet the TV? Thank you. Okay, so I'm playing a uh, Steel Division. Yeah, I just uh, thought I'd like, I'd like just do one gameplay of it. I mean, I just got it, so I'm gonna do boot, boot camp. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, new to me. It's, um, it's the one called Normandy Back to Hell. Yeah, I got that one. I mean, I had the money for it. It was the cheapest for me, so I got it. So, plus I like I like Normandy. I mean, D Day was cool. The Welcome come to boot camp, oh, cadet. I'm your drill sergeant. In this first exercise, I'll instruct you in the ways of issuing basic move orders. But first, in Steel Division, each battle begins with a selection of the units to be deployed during the action, called a battle group. Click next to compose your battle group. This is your battle group overview. It's composed of eight unit classes, which we will explore step by step during the boot camp's exercises. Mm, okay. Each category contains up to 10 slots in which you will later place a unit's pack. Mm -hmm. Only the unit's pack selected in your battle group will be available for the mission. Okay. For the purpose of this exercise, we've granted you access to the infantry class with one unit pack slot. Let's <sighs> click on the slot to edit this class. Welcome to the showroom of the infantry class. It seems like the raw recruits are ready for the exercise. In Steel Division, units are available by pack. Packs are composed of one of several units cards, which represent the maximum number of deployable units on the field. Notice the available airborne rifles pack. Click on the unit pack and hover values to obtain further information about the unit. Right click or drag and drop the available airborne rifles pack on the empty slot to be able to deploy it on the field. In the empty slot, way empty slot. Oh, you talking about that empty slot? Okay. Once the airborne <laughs> rifles like, pack is in slot. your battle group, click back, then validate to see next how the. Yeah, yeah whatever. Shut up. Sit. Got dig. All right. In Steel Division, each battle begins by the deployment phase. Its purpose is to pre-position your units within the blue area, called the deployment zone, and plan your strategy before the battle begins. So yeah. Anyway, um, before I before I click next, I was uh downstairs cooking hamburgers. So yeah, that's why I'm starting in the afternoon. I usually start in the afternoon anyway. The reason why I start in the afternoon is because nobody bothers me early in the afternoon. To position a unit on the deployment zone, click on the requisition menu to deploy it. Then click on the airborne rifles pack and left click on the deployment zone to position the unit. The number on the requisition menu is your given 70 requisition points for the deployment phase. A deployed airborne rifles unit uses one card from the pack and 35 requisition points. Once all the unit cards have been deployed on the map, the pack disappears. Okay. Oh. Wait, what? Setting, destination, position. Wait, oh, okay, over here. Infantry units are deployed with a transport already accounted for in the card. The WC-25 truck is an unarmed transport from which the Airborne Rifles Squad disembarks to fight on the battlefield. <laughs> Vehicles go faster on the road. It is advised to deploy motorized unit on road to quickly reach a strategic position. You can shift the unit's position by holding down left click on the unit's tag or remove it. Right click from the map to place it back to the requisition menu. Click the launch battle button once you have completed the deployment. Okay. Well, that's cool. I like that. That's dope. I like that. Okay. I'm going to put him on the road. Alright, so click deploy. Where did I that? Tree. 
Well done. I bet. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy. Deploy WC-25 is now sure under quarter, your control. Blocking anything. Control the camera using the short keys. Direct it using the arrows. Hey. Rotate it by pressing the middle hey. mouse button Good. and the scroll you, wheel to zoom in and out. Zoom. Your I'll use my scroll wheel. Is simple. You must well, reach I'll the farm something. and disembark an airborne rifle squad once there. Okay. Notice on the map the road that goes straight to the farm. The quickest way to complete the objective is to give the order unload at position to your WC-25 unit at the farm. To issue your first move orders, left click on the unit's tag to select the unit. Left click on the unload at position order and left click on the map to apply it or right click to cancel the order. Somebody knows where we're going. <laughs> yeah, alright. Unload at position. So unload here. Yeah, right. I'll get you there as soon as possible. Alright. Well, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. The unload at position orders the transport units to take the fastest way Short key using the road blocked. network and disembark their passengers at the selected position. I remember that. Beware, once the unit is disembarked, the transport disappears and cannot be used again. How about me? When a unit receives an order, you can select it and press shift to display the ongoing order in real time. You can also give multiple like orders is, by pressing shift. Material. I'm looking for like an army game. A unit can like also comply awesome. with other move orders. The move order orders the units to take the straightest route to the selected position. One transport unit has reached the farm. You can wait for the unload at position order to comply, or you can use the disembark to immediately disembark the airborne rifles from no sign of enemy units. The farm is secured. Well done, sir. Your airborne rifle squad is now controlling the area. Cool. That's awesome. Your first success, sir. You've learned how to compose a battle group, to deploy, apply move orders, and disembark the infantry from their transport. Good job. This game is hot. That's what I like, yo. Let's keep going, yo. I gotta keep learning. I gotta keep learning. I gotta keep learning. So basic, basic infantry tactics. All right, let's go. Let's go. The second exercise will be your first contact with an enemy. I will teach you how to deal with the front line, urban cover, and firepower. Click next to build your battle group. We have unlocked two unit pack slots. Left click on a slot to edit the infantry class. <laughs> the airborne M1919 <laughs> machine gun is now available. It is an infantry team with a medium Yo, machine go. gun. Different units in steel division ah. have different equipment. No wonder, no wonder everybody playing their it. Their requisition points cost, roll, and card availability. Learning how to distinguish each pack by hovering <laughs> over their values is crucial for your success on the field. Each pack fills one activation point. About to Here you have two activation points Check maximum at your disposal. Fill your battle group to spend them all. Pick the airborne rifles pack and the new airborne M1919 machine gun pack to validate your battle group. Okay. The airborne M1919 machine gun is now available. It is an infantry team with a medium machine gun. Different units in Steel Division have different equipment. This impacts their requisition points cost, roll, and card availability. Learning how to distinguish each pack by hovering over their values is crucial for your success on the field. Each pack fills one activation points. Here you have two activation points maximum at your disposal. Fill your battle group to spend them all. 
pick the Airborne Rifles Pack and the new Airborne M1919 Machine Gun Pack to validate your battle group. Not yet. Okay. <sighs> okay. The red dinner, front line is indicates ready. a perimeter controlled by an Almost enemy. Done. Army intelligence has warned us that at least one enemy unit is holding the farm sector. I stole my farm. Since your units are deployed with their transport, you should not expose them that way to enemy fire. Instead, disembark them in the selected area near the farm sector so they can close on the enemy position on foot. Uh, I feel you, homie. Okay. You can issue your first move orders during the deployment phase. Select the deployed unit <laughs> and order unload at position and apply it. Keep in mind that your troops will comply with the order only when the battle starts. Click the launch battle button once you have completed your deployment. Where's one to deploy at though? Like, the area before it? So like, here? Yeah. Unload. Oh, oh, here. Okay. Unload the units. Spark. Oh my god! I keep. I keep. <laughs> I keep right clicking. <laughs> Meant to um. Left clicking. With the pointer finger. All right, so I'll get you there as soon as possible. All right, let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. This game is hot. Cause I, I saw the game, I was like, I was like, this game might might rip my computer. Notice it's actually that the not that bad. Is moving when your troops are advancing. Most of the units in Steel Division influence the front line, so it gives you a feedback on enemy strength and direction, and vice versa. We've arrived. Disembark your troops. I already doing that, man. You, you don't need to tell me twice, buddy boy. Any orders? Let's liberate some ladies. I right, go there. Can they? Can they run? Yeah. These farm buildings appear empty. They can provide good cover for your men. Move them inside. Notice the mouse's cursor color changing when you hover over map elements. The color indicates the level of protection. Yellow for light cover, and cursor green for heavy cover. All right, cool, 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 cool. Locked and loaded, sir. Yo, this game is hot. <laughs> I might, I might come back with another episode for this game. <laughs> for real. German grenadiers are firing at us. This is the first taste of Man, battle. Let me play as, as the Germans. These grenadiers are tough guys with their deadly Please. light machine guns. The best way to dislodge them is to meet them with superior firepower like from the Germans. cover of the farm Hello. building. Notice the unit status gauge above the unit tag. It indicates the suppression level of a unit. When it's full, the soldiers are pinned down. Okay. Pinned down units can surrender by moving close to them. It's also a good way of neutralizing an enemy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me look at the... Gonna combat look nice. Uh. Congratulations, sir. The enemy is pinned down. If you are close enough, you can make them surrender. Great job. The enemy section has been neutralized. Well done, sir. The front line is moving and is now overlaying the farm as there are no further enemies there. Okay. 
You've learned how to use yeah, the basics sweaty. of the infantry in the front line to use morale and urban cover at your advantage. Good job. How close can you get? Not that close. That's what I thought. Okay. Woo! Okay. Ooh, a lot of here. Uh. All right, so I'm gonna cut it here. Or maybe not. I got. I got time. You know what? I got time. I ain't rushing. I just, I just did dinner, so I'm not rushing. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna do. Oh, it's a 20 mark. After the successful raid on the farm sector, Which squads the on the field are asking for an ammo resupply. During this exercise, I will video. teach you how to capture minutes. an enemy supply unit and how to resupply. Click next to build your battle, battle group. group. Pick yeah, all yeah, available yeah. infantry packs to validate your battle group. As you can see, a new pack of infantry, the Airborne Leader, is available. Notice Sweet. the white star on the unit card. This specialty icon indicates a platoon leader who improves the stats of every unit nearby and also heavily influences the front. Yeah, yeah be quiet, man. Let's just play. <laughs> Teach me everything else, man. We've got intel about unarmed Opel Blitz left in the farm sector. The squads deployed on the field can safely capture it. Alright. Capture it. The road seems clear, so you will exceptionally not deploy any units on the deployment zone, but simply guide the glider rifles and the airborne M1919 machine gun on the field to capture the unarmed enemy unit in the farm sector. Click on the launch battle button. Launch Service battle. Ahead. Get ready for a fight. To capture an enemy supply unit, first make sure no other enemy unit is nearby. Then simply bring one of your units close to it, and it will automatically switch sides. Yes, sir? Let's go! The Opel Blitz is captured. This is an unarmed supply unit which can replenish any nearby units with ammunition. Capturing this type of unit is a good way to exhaust enemy units on the field. Since the glider rifles in the airborne M1919 machine gun weapons are depleted, you need to bring the squads and the supply unit to a halt together to refill their weapons. Need some covering fire? I didn't, even, I didn't even tell them to go in the house. They just went in the house. We're ready, Captain. Damn, this thing is heavy. Did I tell you go in the house? Lipton, Malarkey, come with me. Yes, sir. Changing position. Notice the yellow circle. It represents the supply range for units to get replenished. That's a now big circle, though. Once again, ready to kick some ass. Uh, yeah, let's kick some ass. Some bootay. <laughs> German troops are flanking us and will soon surround the units in the farm sector. Units are considered surrounded once they cease to be linked to a ground reinforcement route or are not close to a platoon leader. We need to regain control over the map. We have been granted new requisition points and may deploy units from our battle group on the field to neutralize all enemy units. <laughs> this game is off. We have identified an enemy platoon leader, the Grenadier Fuhrer, along with the Grenadier Infantry Squads. That's why they have so easily reclaimed control of the front line. If we could neutralize the Grenadier Fuhrer Squad, its influence over both the front line and the Grenadier Squad will lessen and eventually collapse. Ready to transport. 
I'll let you off at these coordinates. Where are we headed? We need to break the surrounded unit's encirclement. Luckily, the airborne M1919 machine gun is an airborne unit, as indicated by the wings on its card and tag. Airborne units are used to being surrounded, so they retain their influence on the front line the same way as platoon leaders. On the other hand, a non-airborne or non-leader unit, such as the glider rifles, once surrounded, loses its capacity to hold the front line and suffers moral penalties in enemy territory. Ready, sir. I'll get you there as soon as you have deployed your airborne leader. Good choice. Once disembarked, it improves the experience level of any allied unit close to it. This up-leveling is represented by the yellow star under a unit tag. <laughs> An experienced unit gets him. Once yeah, your shut soldiers up. are I on foot, me. click on the hunt order. That stance allows Change. your soldiers to stop moving and to fight. Okay. At your orders. As you command, sir. Reduce at your service. squad is pinned down and cannot move. It's a perfect opportunity to force its surrender. Make sure the unit is isolated to bring one of your own nearby. To force a unit to surrender, it needs to be covered by the opponent front line, suppressed, and with no ally unit close by. Once a unit surrenders, it leaves the battlefield raising a white flag. Yeah. I'm trying to suppress my guys. First platoon! Easy company. Firing within range, sir. Sir, your unit is pinned down. Use the fallback order to avoid getting killed or captured. high enough. Yeah, it's not highlighted. enemy squad has been neutralized you're beginning to slightly regain control over the map continue to deploy units on the field to swiftly get rid of the remaining enemies Surrounding units are saved. Great job. You have successfully rallied them. Great job. The enemy squad so I wasn't talking. They raise the white flag and like, will so, soon leave the so battlefield. Like, you know, well I'm done, treated. sir. You have reclaimed <laughs> control over the map. You have successfully put into practice the capture of an enemy supply unit, the resupply of your troops, and regain control of the map. By the way, I, I might come back with this with, with more of this game. It depends on if I like, you know, the campaign and stuff like that. So, 
Yeah, anyway, I think I'm done. Just a little show that I got the game. And I'm, having, I'm gonna have, have probably had some fun. Maybe I might cheat the game. <laughs> uh, why do I always cheat? <laughs> I don't know. I just find it fun, man. It, like, a lot of games that I play, I already beaten. Like, I, I played. Um, at my bro's house, the beginning of this, but it was a different version. I think it was like, um, it's like a steel division. It's one of the steel divisions. I just played like, like a little bit of it just to get a little feel of it. But, uh, yeah. The game is fun though. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Stay home, stay safe, and peace out. Bye.